Was that Will Smith? Controversial comedian Dave Chappelle has once again ruffled enough feathers to get him into some trouble, but this time with an audience member who tackled him during a performance at the Hollywood Bowl earlier this week. Security guards chased and overpowered the attacker, and Chappelle was able to continue his performance while the man was taken away in an ambulance. He was tackled as he was wrapping up his routine, and when he spoke about comedians having to worry more about their personal security in the wake of the Academy Awards Oscar slap incident with Will Smith slap slapping Chris Rock for joking about Smith's wife. Although the motive for the incident is still unclear, I'm sure all will be revealed in time. Today we're covering Dave Chappelle once again. More though, you decide. Let us know in the comments down below who you'd like to see on the next episode of Where Are They Now? Don't forget to like this video so we can keep doing what we're doing. David Chappelle was born in Washington DC to a political mother and professor father. Chappelle cited Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor as his main comedic influences and lived between DC and Ohio when his parents separated. He began getting interested in comedy in high school and developed a passion for stand-up at a young age. By the time he graduated, he was already featured on an episode of ABC's America's Funniest People. At 18, Dave moved to New York City to pursue comedy as a career. In his early days, he got booed off the stage in an amateur night comedy club. Chappelle describes his experience as the moment that gave him the courage to continue his show business aspirations. From then on, he quickly made a name for himself in the New York comedy circuit and eventually started to appear on The Howard Stern Show and Letter by 19, Chappelle made his film debut with Mel Brooks's Robin Hood Men in Tights and became so successful that he was an opening act for Aretha Franklin. In 2003, Dave Chappelle debuted his weekly comedy sketch program on Comedy Central called The Chappelle Show. It parodied many aspects of American culture, like racial stereotypes, politics, and pop culture. He promoted the work of other black performers and shared the stage with tons of talented folks throughout the years. His comedy was known for its raunchiness and no subject was too controversial for the comedian who thrived on shock comedy. The show was a massive success. In fact, it became so successful that Dave grew to resent it. In 2004, during the airing of season 3, he walked off the stage at a stand-up event because the crowd kept shouting lines from The Chappelle Show. He returned to the stage only to say, quote, the show is ruining my life. After this, Chappelle stunned fans by walking off set and taking a trip to South Africa to clear his mind. He stated that he was unhappy with the direction that the show had taken and, quote, Coming here, I don't have the distractions of fame. It quiets the ego down. I want to be well-rounded and the industry is a place of extremes. Despite stating ethical and professional concerns for his career, tabloids at the time ran with Chappelle's abrupt leave of absence and stated rumors that it was due to mental health issues and substance use. During his leave, Dave officially decided to end The Chappelle Show, losing out on almost $50 million in the process. After the program collapsed, Dave began solely appearing in stand-up comedy environments. Then he took a two-year break between 2011 and 2013. Before the years of 2013 and 2017, the comedian experienced a major comeback from his earlier blunders with half-baked jokes and a few instances of a stage heckling that kind of labeled Chappelle as a bit of a bad sport. Between these years, he appeared on SNL, for which he received an Emmy, a lot of late night shows, and created three Netflix stand-up series, all with resounding positive reviews. Interestingly, Dave Chappelle seems to be just one of those comedians who are immune to true cancellation. It's no doubt that he's constantly riffing on controversial topics and skirting the line between what's okay to say and what's genuinely wrong. Just recently, the comedian was in some hot water for his Netflix special. During production, a member of staff walked out in protest after he was reportedly transphobic by making jokes about and not defending trans people. Specifically, a grievance was aired because a staff member was extremely disappointed in Chappelle's handling of the complaints for his transphobic jokes. In a Guardian article commentating on the incident, the author writes about how it seems cancellation is almost more beneficial for the comedian than it is a career ruiner. In terms of someone who's constantly pushing the line, like Chappelle, quote, the benefits can be vast. The beauty of embracing a cancelled identity is that it imbues on the cancelled an aura of rebellious glamour. Rather than being seen as maybe mean, possibly out of touch, and perhaps a bit of a bully, they become an outlaw. Despite Dave Chappelle's comedy being decades worth of controversial topics, it seems that by being a bit edgy, it's more of a positive career move than anything. Where it ruins the lives of pristine public figures, if 
one was never pristine to begin with, it can only improve your career. The controversy with the employee protest on the Chappelle stand-up has only really garnered the Netflix special more attention than it would have initially had, and on top of that, kept the comedian relevant for the foreseeable future. And now, as he is touring for the Netflix is a Joke festival, Dave was tackled while on stage by a man who was armed with fake replica weapons. The man suffered way more injuries than Dave did, however, when he was sent to the hospital while Dave continued on with the end of his set. The assailant got absolutely pummeled by security. And Jamie Foxx was in the crowd, immediately jumping to Dave's aid, of which Chappelle thanked him for responding to the attack. And lo and behold, Chris Rock was also in attendance, the man who was slapped in January by Will Smith for telling a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's alopecia. Chris Rock also went on stage after Chappelle was ready to finish his set and made a joke about the whole thing, asking if the assailant was Will Smith. Although the motive for the actual event is still not clear, that will definitely be brought to light soon when the individual is eventually interrogated. One of Dave's recent comedy specials that caused controversy due to the material about transgender people, like I had mentioned above, that led to a walkout of Netflix employees who refused to work with a transphobic comedian. One BuzzFeed reporter, Brianna Sachs, stated, quote, The comedian had literally just said he now has more security because of all the uproar from his jokes about the trans community. While the attacker was getting beat up, he made a joke about him being a trans man. Kind of untasteful, if you ask me. A lot of people are also very worried about whether the Oscar slap incident has now set a dangerous precedent for comedians being physically harmed due to offensive jokes. I personally think that's a load of crap, given that celebrities have always been in danger of people's aggression. That's literally why they have security in the first place. I doubt another celebrity slapping someone who's already famous is setting any sort of precedent. Either way, it was just reported that the man who tackled Dave will not be charged with any felonies. He's also been identified as 23-year-old Isaiah Lee. The LAPD stated, quote, After reviewing the evidence, prosecutors determined that while criminal conduct occurred, the evidence as presented did not constitute felony conduct. Now, that one doesn't make any sense. Isn't there literally a whole thing about not being allowed to physically physically harm someone else, or have the intent to even harm someone else. I mean, I also don't really agree with Chappelle's trans jokes, if only because they're unoriginal and not really all that funny, but I do think that Lee should at least have been charged with something. More so than the Oscar slap thing, not charging him with anything sets more of a weird precedent for allowing people to invade the space of others, which is obviously never okay. Either way, I guess that's just how it is now. So do you think Dave Chappelle's funny? You can find me in the comments if you want. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Where Are They Now? on Dave Chappelle. I actually do kind of want to know if you think that the Oscar slap is setting a dangerous mindset for comedians. I'd honestly like to be proven wrong. Please don't forget to subscribe. I've been your host, Sierra. See you guys later.